right, I know you, uh, I said in the last video I'd be down on a Friday, but this is day two, it's on a Tuesday. I've decided to come down today because uh, the weather's a lot better. So rather than leave it till Friday when it might all change again, I've come down today with the uh, Crow Puncher Pro 500 and uh, I'm going to stretch its legs out today. So I'm going to start at 40 yards and then move it out. So uh, we'll see how it gets on. Uh, not been able to top it up because I ain't got the attachment. Uh, we're down to around 140 bar. So uh, hopefully we've got enough shots in it for it to do what it needs to do. Uh, our Cliff Kirkman is supposed to be coming down with a spear uh, full attachment for this one. So. Uh, if it, well, I need to top it up anyway, but if it needs a bit of more more air in it just to push it further out, we can do that hopefully. So uh, we'll get on with the test. Go for the uh, top black, you see where the point of impact is. Not too bad actually. Okay, go for the yellow dot. You can see two little groups going on there. I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's my pulse. So as my heart's flickering like that, when I've got it right, you can always see I've got about three or four through the centre and the main point of aim. And then when it's flickering like that, 
it's jumping to the right as well. So that's what's doing it because there's no wind. And I can actually see me pulse rate through the actual scope. So if something's going to the right hand edge and we've had about three through the same hole in the middle. It's all about getting the arc rate down. But at 40 yards, spot on. Okay. So what I'll do now, I'm going to move the target out to 50. Like it's just starting to work blow now. Let's hope it holds uh, off a bit. Right, then for the uh, centre. Look at that drop off. Hmm. Right on the bottom edge of it. Yeah. Yellow dot. Okay, so we're on at 50. Uh, so now we're up to 60. So it's shooting okay. So it's a gun that can shoot right up to uh, 50 yards with accuracy. Hopefully five punch piece groups at 50, so 
if you've got any rifle that can do that, consider it a good rifle. So great value for money at what it costs. Obviously, it's not got all the internals done like you get on a, a Day State FX Brocop. But uh, that's what you're paying for in a top end rifle. But what I am saying is, uh, for what you're paying for, you're getting good value. You're getting a rifle that can shoot straight and it's consistent. Uh, if you've only paid 535.70, you can, when your warranties run out, or before that, if you feel that way, inclined you can tune them up as well so you make it more consistent you can fit regulators to these uh, and you can also if you want a better shot count uh, you uh, make adjustments to the hammer and the, uh, the spring on it to an anti-bounce spring there are tuners out there that will do it if you're not up to it uh, it's not too hard really as long as you've got a craniograph and you're confident in yourself it can be done ok I uh Reset target at 60 yards, the usual one, the red one. Uh, I have made a few adjustments to this, we'll just see if uh, it's on at 60 that we're getting there. Flag down here is okay so far, it did, uh, did stop drifting up a bit but it's stopped again now, so it's okay down this end. And the flag's at the 50 uh, still as well, so that's good. Right. Let's get the parallax again. Okay, 60 yards then. I'll aim on target and see where it goes. I think I'm going over it. Probably made too big a reduction. Go for the uh, second one out. One and a half mil dots. So once you get the uh, point of aim, it's going to hit it. No dots at 60.
Okay, we're at 70 now. Okay then. 70 yards. I'll give it two mil dot. Two and a half. Not sure what the uh, windage is. Clue is it's going. I can't see any point of impact. I think it's going to the left. Yes. Three mil dot. Yeah, and it's about a mil dot of windage as well. Maybe the uh, power's dropping off. Definitely three mil dots. And it's a good a good mill dot of all all over to the right. Well that that actually landed where I was aiming at, so obviously the wind's moving it around. Probably can't see it but it is. I'm just off the edge of it then. Yeah, so 70 odds. Uh, I'll just top my mags up. Uh, uh, 70 yards, no problem really. As long as you know your yeah. wind did you know all over. Is uh, 80 yards, one to the right, but I hope it was 90. Four and a half mil dot. Yeah. 
Well, that wasn't where I was aiming at. So it was all down to the wind, really. Going for the other target then. Can't see where any of these are impacting. Go for that uh, on eight. That's it. Right, call it that then. Uh, so I was hitting the one at eighty once I got got it on target, and it, the flag is moving now. But uh, ninety yards, I did hit it once, but. Uh, Unless I can see a point of uh, impact at the other end, I can't assess my uh, old overall the windage. Uh, but uh, pretty much down to the bottom reticle to get 90 with this on the uh, 16 times zoom. But uh, yeah, not bad rifle. I mean, not supposed to be shooting that far away sub 12 foot pound rifle. So out, out to uh, normal uh, HFT at 55 yards, uh, no problem. Uh, so conclusions then, accurate rifle, nice looking rifle, plenty of shots out of it, although you could get more on a top end rifle with a bottle that size, you're still going to get at least 200 usable shots, at least. Uh, Multi-shot or single-shot tray. Yeah, for the price, well worth the price. Uh, backyard friendly. Only if you fit a moderator, I'd say such suppressor. Depends how good your neighbours are and how, how, how big your gardens are and how far away you are. But. Uh, no, mo no moderator today, I fitted it yesterday at home and I had it on down here as well when I was shooting. Uh, but uh, yeah, the trigger on this is much, much better. Not done any adjustment to it and it breaks really well. They are adjustable so you can go down to as light as you like, but it is a match trigger compared to the other uh, Krells. Uh, I can't understand why Krell don't uh, sort the triggers out before they ship them off to the uh, retailers because they're very easily be easily tuned so I've done it myself on the ones I've used but uh, yeah I mean we're getting good things coming out of China and Turkey uh, they're keeping up with the rest of the pack the difference is you're getting uh, value for money you know uh, I mean, some of the stuff coming out of China now, it's regulated and everything. And for as low as like 300 quid, so you can't go wrong. Uh, 
it's a lot of snobbery to guns really. I mean we've all, we've all got the well known brands and they do shoot well. Uh, but uh, not everybody can afford to pay a thousand quid or whatever. But these give you, if you've not got a lot of money to spend, they give you a good rifle for a decent budget. Uh, and this is top end budget for uh, the crowds as well. So 55 to 70 is about as much as you'll pay for a crowd. No more than six anyway. Uh, most of them you're looking at. Uh, about four, four fifty, something like that, depending on what you buy. And they go right from uh, classic lines, uh, cylinders up to bottles and down to ball pups, uh, side lever and bolt action. So uh, the choice is yours if that's what you want to get. Uh, I mean, what you spend on the this sort of thing compared to what you spend on a top end rifle. You can buy all the ex extras for it as well, scopes and bags and ear tanks, whatever. It's the way you look at it, really. So uh, that is the uh, Crowd Punch Pro 500. I'd like to thank Dave Palmer for uh, letting me have it, because he's only just bought it. Uh, so good on you, Dave. Uh, not be shooting tomorrow, it's uh, Chris's funeral tomorrow. So... Uh, I don't know, I might, I might not be down until next week now, but uh, that's uh, another video out of the way, uh, and uh, we'll see what we've got up next, so uh, I'll catch you in the next video.